Are you looking to supercharge your social media presence in 2019? Well, in this video, I'm giving you my top 10 tips to make your music pop on social media. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, social media is a bit of a mysterious beast. So in this video, I'm gonna break down and give you 10 tips that you can use for free to get your social media presence more upfront and more present so that you can promote your music. Let's jump in now. Tip number one is to keep it native. So this means if you're in Facebook, post to Facebook. If you've got a video that you wanna upload, upload it to it. It's a Facebook video, don't link out to a YouTube video. Now, does this mean you can never link out to another site? Well, no, but if you keep the majority of your content native to the platform, that platform will reward you by pushing your content up and making sure that it shows up in people's feeds. If you're always just linking out somewhere else, platforms don't like that. Facebook don't want you to link to YouTube or to a different platform. And the same with Instagram, the same with everything else. So keep that in mind and keep as much of your content native as you can. Tip number two is closely related to that, which is the order of content that gets promoted by the different platforms. Now, the way it works, and this isn't exact, but it usually goes like this, live video, video, photos, text. So if you are posting things, keep that in mind that live video gets the most attention, will get pushed out to as many subscribers and followers as possible. Then if you've got video next, and then photos and then text. Again, it doesn't mean you can never post just a text post, but keep in mind that it's probably not going to get in front of as many eyeballs as those live video and video posts. So tip number three is about what content you actually share. So if you are sharing photos or videos, you don't just have to share your music. Share a photo or a video about the creation process. Show something in the backstage of a gig. Show something about some new recording equipment that you got. People wanna know the behind the scenes as much as they wanna actually hear your music. Tip number four, if you are using a text post, why not make it interactive? So ask a question instead of making a statement. And this is gonna make people be more involved and folks like to give their opinions. They like to answer questions. And if the platform supports it, put a poll up there, get people to vote on their favorite something. It really doesn't matter. But if you make it interactive and make it interesting, not only can you get some really good feedback about something, but you can engage and interact with those that are watching you on social media. And while we're talking about engagement, make sure that you're engaging with other people on social media. Social media is a two-way stream. It shouldn't just be you pushing your content out to the world. You should be engaging with others as well. And that will actually put you in good stead because if you just keep pushing things out to Facebook, Facebook is gonna realize that and it will start not showing you up. If you're engaging with other people, answering their questions and commenting on their posts, you got it. You will actually go up in the algorithm and you'll show up more. And that's the same across pretty much every social media platform. Number six is around collaboration. So collaborate with others, collaborate on video projects, collaborate on other people's posts by commenting, by asking questions, by being interactive. Now don't go the tag route and just tag every one of your friends or followers in every single post. That's gonna get real old real quick and people will start unfollowing you. You have the reverse effect. But if you collaborate with people and if there's something that may interest particular subscribers or particular followers of yours, then tag them in those specific things and they'll be grateful as long as you do it in moderation. Tip number seven is to have a presence on a bunch of different social media sites, but make sure that you're focused on just one or two. That way that you can put a lot of your attention into those platforms. So for me, I have a big focus on YouTube, I have a secondary focus on Facebook, and then I have a little bit of a presence on Twitter and Instagram. So pick the platforms that your audience and your listeners and your viewers are gonna be on and focus in on those. Tip number eight is to use the new features of a social platform. So when Facebook ad, how you're feeling, use that. If you can tag yourself in a location on a particular platform, use that because these platforms want these new features to be used and they'll often increase your presence if you use the new features that they've just released. Tip number nine is to have a website or a mailing list. Have some way to interact outside of social media platforms. If you are reliant 100% on a particular platform, if that platform changes things up, you could be out of luck. So if you have your own website or mailing list, then that can help. Now you can do this for free through some of the free web hosting and things like MailChimp to set up your mailing list, or you can pay a little bit of money to get a more professional presence. But if you have some sort of presence outside of social media, it's gonna help you in the long run. And the 10th and 
final tip is to be human. Social media is about being social, it's not just about media. So if you are putting things out there that people can interact with, that people can engage with, that can be a two-way conversation, they're gonna be effective. If you are just pushing content, then it's not social media, it's just media. And there you go, use one, use all 10, but this should give you a little bit of an idea for how you can change up and do some different things in 2019. If you've got comments, questions, suggestions, or your own tips, drop those in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you would like to check out my social media presence, head over to studiolivetoday.com where you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and everywhere else I happen to be online. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. Thanks again, I'll see you soon.